Hello, my everybody. It's Michelle Marie Deloney. It is May 18th, 2015. And yes, I am fine. I am at the Ella House right now. Actually, I'm at the soup kitchen at this moment. But, um, I just wanted to let you know that we're all getting some um, dates that we should be able to um, keep in our mind. That, um, they are working, starting, Jimmy's starting to clean up for work on the porch. Um, and that um, after the building inspector signs off on the, the finished repairs and everything, we'll probably be moving back in. But it's going to take them time to get all the work done. So, um, somebody in Florida is trying to make trouble for us um, in Winston because this prior tenant um, has a personal vendetta against Jimmy, and my landlord. And, and what he's doing is. He's threatening to call um, the House Section 8 people and try to get us um, forced to leave the premises or to force Jimmy to get back rent money or I don't know. Um, I'm not, none of us agree with his policies. I'm talking about this man's policies. And um, originally I told the man that I was not going to even acknowledge this conversation. However, since I did mention it in the videos already um, about the building, so I guess you can't totally uh, disavow anything, but I will say this much. It is documented situation. I'm sure the, 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 the local Section 8 office knows all about it, at least in part, because they were the ones who originally put in the initial report. And um, the other thing is, is that Jimmy has found a safe, adequate alternative housing. Now it's up to us, the tenants, to make that safe temporary housing home. And we've already done that with the Wi-Fi. And we've already done that with um, a variety of other tools at our disposal. We've already made it like home. Um, we have um, the ability to bring our cats over, but... Um, like I was talking to one of the other housemates, uh, Linda, she said to me is that her cat's a little girl kitty and um, and for Rusty that could be bad news because Rusty's a tomcat and he's a boy and he's, even though he doesn't spray, he's got carpet in there, okay? Um, that means that I'm not saying he won't spray. I mean, I can't promise anybody he won't spray. So I was like, well, I can't bring Rusty over here. I could bring Fame over, but he sheds. Okay, so, um, but Fame's also fixed, but he sheds. So, that doesn't really work out too well for me either. Um, I don't know what to say. Um, as far as, well, one of my top of the things that most people like to hear about. Okay, we got the internet over there. It is working. It's a kludge. It's a giant band-aid of, uh, a computer with a wireless access point or port set up and then it's actually relaying the connections from um, the com computer in our house to the yellow house in the back. Um, to do that it has an external antenna outside on the sitting on the, uh, the wall and then it um, brings that signal into the um, computer and then it runs it, um, Rex is a router and at the same time X is a DHCP server and then that sends that link to an in-house um, Netgear router which then sits out to um, all the wireless and wired connections in the apartment or in the building. So we got internet. It's a little spotty, it's a little slow, but it's up, it's working. But, you know, oh my arm. Unfortunately, my, poor, my elbow takes a pounding on this table every time I try to do these videos on this because there's no padding um, for my elbow to rest on. So, anyway, so, um, as far as the situation goes with the house, um, like I explained to one of the one of the residents, I said, where is it nicely? She said, well, I heard some people were still sleeping over there. I said, well, you know, here's the deal. I said, you read what the building... The fire marshal said, you read the note like I did, possibly up to 
six months in prison and then anywhere from two hundred to a thousand dollar fine if you're arrested. And I don't know how much you're gonna enforce it, but still that's pretty significant. Second of all is um, it would be a criminal charge against you and I don't really think so. I said I'm not so much worried about the charges business as much as this. Okay? If the if the uh, renovation crew makes a mistake or they accidentally hit the building or falls flat on its face because if someone accidentally hits it with a crane or whatever, um, at least with us here in the Yellow House, we can walk out the door and say, we're still alive. You know, we can walk out. Whereas if you're in the building when it falls over, they're going to be carrying you out in a body bag. Okay? So it's up to you. Which one would you rather go? Ambulatory? or in an ambulance. It's your choice. I'd rather be ambulatory and walk out. Okay? Um, so we're all kind of just using the apartments right now as storage um, until we can get the official word um, Well, we can re-enter our homes again. <sighs> Except for a few that have chosen to rough it out. You know, technically, it's a criminal offense. Okay, fine. For those of you who decided to do that, one of them happens to be an older man. He's, I don't think he really cares one way or another. Or maybe he doesn't have family. I don't know. He's pretty quiet anyway. I, I don't know if he's even there, honestly. He may not be. Um, the landlord's, of course, there. His son's there. But everybody else, as far as I know, is not. So... Why make trouble? I don't want to make trouble. I just want to just have a place to sleep, a place to eat, and a place to excrete. Okay? But that doesn't mean we can't do any videos at the, uh, at the apartment. We can't. In fact, um, I might be doing I might be doing a video shortly in the apartment because I made a mistake with the weather yesterday, and I think I need to correct it. I looked at the weather so far in advance that I was looking all the way up into next Sunday's forecast and I thought it was this Sunday. And I apologize for that. It's that's when it's gonna start really getting saucy. It is next Sunday, not 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 this week. This week is gonna be mild, then next Sunday is gonna start getting warm. Um so let's, uh, let's straighten that out with you. And let you know that um that um I might be bringing some more of my furniture over there. We're all trying to kind of organize how we're going to do it. Um, we don't really know if we want to lug beds around because we might be there only for, like I said, about two to three weeks, and then we got to put all the beds and furniture back in the building again. Um, but that's that's an individual thing. Some choose to just do like I'm doing, sleep in the, on, a, on a floor in a, in a sleeping bag, and some of us have chosen to go with full desks and furniture and things like that. It's it's an individual thing, like I said. But for the time being, I just wanted to let you know that I want you to know that I'm going to be safe and I'll be dry and I'll be cool and, and that everything's going to be okay and that I really wish that people would not try to make trouble for other people because that's just not fair, okay? I mean, we don't need trouble right now. We're going through a lot right now, just trying to um, coordinate all the things that we have to do and try to make sure we pay our bills on time, make sure we get our, you know, our, our life put back together. Um, and that's just, you know, that's just the way it is, you know? So, we got to work together. That's one of the most important things I've always told you. All right, guys. Look, don't forget to like or dislike, share with your friends and enemies, comment in the comment section below. Oh, yes, by the way, um, I may be leaving Facebook um, because I've been thinking about leaving Facebook for a while because of all the uh, crap going on um, with uh, Facebook's policies. And also, again, given the situation about this gentleman, this will probably be one of the last videos you will see on Facebook as we will begin to migrate towards using other services instead of this program. I mean, uh, Facebook's been okay for a long time, but um, I really am not impressed with it. And I, I'm not really impressed with this man's attitude, and I'm certainly not... Um, I cannot manage to keep up with all these different sites. So as I said, I might decide to just cancel my Facebook account. 
um, is really, um, I think that's good when all my other relatives, they left Facebook for the same reason, um, but they didn't like it anymore. Um, it's getting to be kind of a, um, I don't know, I might go to town hall really today. Really not supportive network for a lot of people, so. I don't know, I gotta, I gotta uh, do something. So, gotta, if this is the last video you see, this is the last video you see on Facebook, but of course, I will continue to publish them on Twitter and Google Plus, if that's the case, and of course, Blogspot, on my blog pages. Alright, talk to you later. Bye-bye.